What I'm going to show you today is a servo controlled light. So you can see the bulb up there and here's my laptop. So I'll move to halfway and you see the bulb dims. And I can move it all the way down here and it will turn off. And I can put it back on full brightness uh, and anywhere between basically it will, it will move. Now I'm using a regular bulb so I can swap it out for a higher wattage if I like. If I want something brighter or swap it out for a smaller one. Uh, I built in some basic animations, for instance a breathe animation. So this will slowly brighten and then slowly dim back down. And it can be quite a relaxing animation to have in the bedroom. And then I can stop that and I've got a this one's a bit noisier and it's a bit more crazy, but it's a flash animation. And when you stop the animation, it will automatically go back to the setting you had it on. So if I move it down here and then start the flash animation and then stop it, you see it's automatically gone back to the same setting. And this is just uh, Google Chrome, I'm just controlling it through here. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and then I'll come back and show you how it works. So this is basically how it works. You'll see here that I've got a regular dimmer uh, switch, which you'd normally find on your wall. Um, turn that on, and then if I just turn it on quickly and turn this, you see it gets brighter, dimmer, and what I've got here is a servo motor. I've got it connected to a Raspberry Pi, which um, I already use this as a web server, so uh, I run it 24-7 anyway, so this is a bonus being able to run the light on it as well. You see it's got an Ethernet cable which just runs up to my cupboard there, which is where my router lives. Um, and basically what happens is I've built a simple web interface which talks to the, um, to the Raspberry Pi over my Wi-Fi, and just like this I can turn it up turn it down and you'll see here that it's basically moving the servo motor to control the light. And if I do the flash animation and that's pretty much it. Um, what I actually plan to use this for is a, uh, a sunrise alarm so in the morning it will come on gradually over a period of 30 minutes um, and then it wake me naturally rather than an annoying beeping sound. Uh, but I built this interface just so that if I want to use the light at other times, aside from using it as an alarm, I can also do that. Um, and it works really well. And because this is a you know this is a proper junction box, a PVC junction box, and this is a you know commercial dimmer, I haven't had to worry about the dangers of you know high voltage and so on. And this uh, this box was wired up by an electrician friend. Um, and I'm just interfacing with it using the servo motor, as you see here. Uh, it's just hot glued on. Uh, you could probably do it a little bit neater if you want, but it, it works fine. And uh, here's the connection to the Raspberry Pi. You see the power, the ground, and the, the signal. And that's it. Simple.